Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to continue looking at our UV editor tools. The UV editor can be found in the UV menu within the modeling menu set. We have modeling menu set here, and then we have the UV menu. The top one on the list is UV editor. We can open it up. So here within the UV editor, we're going to be looking at the smooth UV tool. This is the tool menu here within the UV editor. You can find a smooth UV tool right here. So first we need some UVs to smooth, right? So let me go ahead and close the UV editor and we will look at our sculpting shelf tab and choose the visor for sculpting base meshes. We'll click that to open it up. So within this visor we have these different folders of different types of objects and we'll just choose animals as an example. We have alligators and whales and teeth and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to choose a horse, right click on it, and choose import Maya file. Alright, so here's my horse object. And over here on the left side, underneath the move and scale and rotate tools, I have my perspective slash UV editor camera preset. So I'll click that. If you don't have one, you can right click on any of these and choose perspective slash UV editor here. So with my perspective on the left side and my UV editor on the right, I can select my horse and display the UVs of the horse here on the right. So this object which comes with Maya 2016 has these UVs already pre-applied. So I'm going to hit the spacebar and on the UV editor over here so I can maximize it in my scene. And so over here I have the tool menu. I can break it off so I can move the tool menu over here off screen just so it's a little bit easier for me to get to. But we're going to go to the uh, U smooth UV tool options. The easy way to do that is simply go to tool menu, smooth UV tool, and then here's the options right here, which we'll get to in just a minute. But first, let's just select the tool, tool, smooth UV tool. So when I select the tool, nothing really seems to happen. I can click and drag in here, and we see no difference. But for the tool to work, we actually need to select some UVs. So I'm going to right click in the UV editor, choose UV as my component selection method. My UVs all kind of highlight blue like this to indicate I'm in component mode. And my UVs will uh, highlight red as I mouse over them. So I can click and drag a marquee selection box around a grouping of these UVs and let go. So you'll see with the smooth UV tool active we have this over here, this little yellow hash mark here with unfold or relax as these two buttons. If I click on the unfold box my arrow, and I'm holding, my arrow kind of switches to a left and right slider. And as I slide these left and right, you can see how they're shifting positions. If I go all the way to the left, it's back to its starting position. If I go all the way to the right, it's at its maximum unfolding position with the unfold option. I'm going to go all the way back to the left at its original position and let go. I'm actually going to hide the image, which is this kind of pale uh, peach color so you can see the UVs a little bit better. Let me have relax. If I click on the relax box, I again get a left and right slider and I can drag left and right. You can see how the relax slider works with the UVs I have selected. So we have relax and then we have unfold like so. So let me undo all that stuff. So with this still active, I'm going to go to the smooth UV tool options now and we see what we have. Edit, reset our settings and kind of move it over here to the side. So first we have a checkbox for pin borders. We do have our border UVs here and right now when we, especially with the relax uh, option, they really collapse inward at the borders, at the border of the UV shell. If I click pin borders and hit apply, you'll see how the border UVs are no longer included in my selection. They've actually been deselected with that action, with that option checked. If I drag another marquee selection around some UVs and let go, you'll see that those UVs are excluded from my selection, even though I am including them within the marquee selection box. So pin borders means that the effect of my smoothness, of my smoothing, will not affect the borders, the border UVs of the UV shell. As I click and drag on relax, you can see that it's only affecting those that are highlighted or unfold the same way. It makes it a little more subtle because the UVs of the borders are kind of containing the effect. If I uncheck this and hit apply again 
and go to relax, well first I need to select the UVs again because the border UVs were not included in my selection previously so now they are and now I can choose relax for example and you see you get a much more dramatic result because that border is collapsing in with the relax uh, setting as well as the unfold setting you can see how it moves outward like it is but with pin borders and hitting apply it removes those UVs from the selection and become they become unselectable as well and only affects those interior UVs with my unfold and relax sliders next we have the space setting and we have UV space versus world space now where this really comes into play is when you have UVs that are a bit more tangled than this horse's UVs are. This, this horse has been uh, done professionally and is pretty clean. Um, if we were to take a model that has not been done like, like this, let's uh, actually make a new scene and I will fast forward a bit to when I have the mesh ready. So bear with me one moment. So here we have a uh, face model that can, again comes with Maya. And it's a bit more dense of a UV uh, configuration that we have here. So we hopefully we can see a bit more dramatic results when it comes to the smooth UV tool. So I'm going to right click and choose a grouping of UVs through the middle of where the face is. And again I go to smooth UV tool like so. And then we have our unfold. You can see a very dramatic uh, difference in how unfold works there. Undo that and relax. Much different result. Now what these are doing is simply uh, attempting to even the space between UVs. You see as I go all the way to the right with relax, the U spacing between UVs is relatively even compared to where it started. And with unfold, in a similar way it's trying to uh, lay out those UVs in an even manner. But with a uh, human face and other such objects, that's not necessarily always what you want. But when you have a lot of UVs together, you may want to relax them slightly, uh, depending on what you're working on. But this is just an example showing the tool. So let's go back into our smooth UV tool options here. We have our UV space and world space. If I choose world space, that was what I was showing you before, with, right now, with unfold like this and relax like this. This is all using UV space. And you kind of see how it's kind of undulating and moving in a very organic manner especially with the relax slider. Now let's choose world space, hit apply and unfold. And that's the extent of it with the unfold slider and relax. It is an interesting look. Typically when I use the tool it's, it's not in such a dramatic way. It's mainly to help untangle a very dense area of UVs so I can get to them a little easier. It's very similar to, for example, in uh, 3D modeling when you're moving objects versus in world space or object space when it comes to the orientation of how things move. It's very similar to that where you have, instead of object space, we're dealing with UV space versus world space. Another good way of showing this at work, you can see here the nose of the face model that came with Maya. There's no details here because they are providing this for uh, sculpting purposes. But if I were to, for for example, grab a couple faces here to make some kind of pseudo nostrils. I'm going to grab those two faces. I'll go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. I'm going to just extrude those faces inward like so. And scale them in. So we have these kind of nostril shapes in our mesh. Go back to our UVs here. Now what that extrude did was it did add new UVs to the model. Because for example when I select the new uh, faces that I've made here you can see how it's selecting an edge in the UV editor. So if I grab the, f the face that makes up the inner nostril I'm going to scale it in here in the UV editor and you can see those new faces that I've created are visible. I'll do the same for the other side. And let's say just how I mapped them or something. Let's say that they're like this. And this is kind of a weird example. I'm kind of um, creating a mistake on purpose. But you can see here that because those nostrils are within the nose, whenever uh, you know, I whenever this UV mapping happened, these UVs all got out of whack. 
So I'm going to select this kind of grouping of UVs here, go to my smooth UV tool and unfold. And you can kind of see how it sort of fixed it to be in line with the rest of the nose. Well before the UVs are all kind of crisscrossing each other and were not uh, done very well. They were, un they were overlapping and any texture we apply to this area of the nose would be very off in how it looked. We can unfold them and it kind of fixes itself with this smooth UV tool with the UVs that we have selected. We can choose the relax tool as well and it kind of does a similar fixed job. We can try using world space, hit apply and see how that affects affects it and you can kind of see the difference here. The nostril space is given a much larger space mainly because it's trying to match the amount of space the actual physical shape has. So we undo that. Unfolding this is unfolding it in world space undo and choose UV space and apply and try unfolding it in UV space. You can see a big difference. So hopefully this explains a little bit how the smooth UV tool can be helpful especially when dealing with things like the nostrils of noses and trying to get all those UVs to unwrap cleanly. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions please feel free to let me know. Uh, hopefully I explained things the way I uh, wanted to. Hopefully that makes it, hopefully it's clear in how that works and what it could be useful for in your own projects. Uh, please feel free to uh, like and comment and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, make any suggestions for uh, videos in the future that you'd like to see. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.